Hey there, everybody. This is Cleveland High School Podcast. Today we're going to be covering March Madness. I'm Nick Raccia. I'm Jackson Bizzle. And I'm Javori Harvey. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so today we're going to cover March Madness. Right now it's at the Sweet 16, both first and second rounds over. Um, probably the most important game from second round was probably Duke versus UCF. That game was just a very close game throughout the whole time. There's a controversial call at the very end that kind of gave Duke the win. Um, in my opinion, I think it was a charge. It's not a charge if his feet aren't set. Like, if you can't run, what do you expect if you're like 190, Zion Williams and, you know, 280? You can't, and you fall over and you, you're asking for a charge. It's not, that's not how it works. You shouldn't be trying to body him up. At, I, the, at the end of the day, it shouldn't have even mattered because UCF was up four, about a minute 30 left. And, two. and on a fast break, and they threw an alley. And and he missed the alley. And they went down, and Cam Reddish went down and scored a three to cut it to one. There was 17 seconds left. It was 76-73 UCF was winning. They were down three points. Something had to be called in order for, for Duke to get that win. So he, he made the point. Then he, caught, um, he got an M1, missed the second free throw, and then they scored. So what, that made it 77? Oh, my phone, my phone, my phone. Ready? <laughs> All right, with 17 seconds left in the game, um, Duke was down three points, 73-76. Um, the most controversial call again, um, Zion went to go make a layup, and he got fouled. Um, that made it, I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. Can someone else talk about this? Bro, I got you, bro. You, you really don't. I was going to. All right. Okay. So that made it 70, 76, 77. Honestly, in this game, I honestly believe the best team won, which is supposed to happen. I'm glad it wasn't an upset or whatever. Um, I really don't think the call was that controversial. You know, it, it wasn't a charge, and then it was an obvious foul when he went for the layup. And I think the refs really wanted Duke to win, which made that last call because everyone knew that it Duke looked like game, a charge. Duke has the easiest path to the championship out of, out of every, like, one seed. If you just look at everybody in their in their region, yeah, the number two seed in the region is Michigan State, which Michigan State shouldn't even be a two seed at all. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Which but I think UCF should should have won that game. Which there was a lot, half of it was on them, obviously throwing that alley, and then but you gotta also realize that those refs, the refs did kind of, you know, bail them out a little bit, but. Yeah. And on that missed free throw from Zion, that's they should have got that rebound. There, there's no excuse for them not getting it. And RJ putting it back up, you know, that's why they lost. But it's it's done with. You can't really do anything about it. Okay, right. so Baylor Gonzaga. Gonzaga took it on Saturday, you know. Honestly, I didn't watch the game, but if you if you just know, like, the culture of Gonzaga and then Baylor – One's a basketball school, one is not. You know, who do you expect to win that game? Yeah. They won 83-71 against Baylor. So, today, um, this is about the Sweet 16. So, it's Florida State versus Gonzaga, four versus one, Gonzaga being number one. Who do you guys think Who do you guys think are going to win? I think Gonzaga is going to take that easily, honestly, because Florida State's – Florida State's coming off a really easy game in um, Murray State, which I think they shouldn't even Yeah, they blew them out. Florida if, State put up 90. If Florida State would have played Marquette, they would have lost, but that's just my opinion. So, Florida State's coming off an easy win. They're going to have too much confidence, and they're going to get, you know, smacked in the mouth. I think, I think out of all the teams that can beat uh, Gonzaga, that's not a one seed. I think it's Florida State because Florida State has – they got some seven four dude that's just like Taco Fall pretty much, and and they're fast. They play fast. They're a very good team, but I think they can beat them. But I don't think they will. So we'll just have to wait and see Today. what happens. Um, so Texas Tech won by twenty and against Buffalo and Michigan nearly won by 20. So they both play, playing each other today. We got number three, Texas Tech versus number two, Michigan. Who you guys are thinking taking Michigan, taking that one? Texas Tech, they have, they barely had any like competition or whatever. So honestly, Michigan, they're gonna, I don't think it's gonna be an easy win. My score is gonna be like, I think it's gonna be like 
86, 70 something. Yeah, Michigan's looking pretty hot this year. So uh, I I say Texas Tech because I have Texas Tech on my bracket. I have them going to the Final Four. Really? I think that's my sleeper pick to go to the Final Four. Why do you have Texas Tech on so far? Oh God, I don't, I just like I see them on TV, and you know I just, they just play so like complete, and you know they they uh, Kansas. And they're in the um, God, what's their? Con- I forgot their conference name. The Big Twelve, yeah, the Big Twelve. Kansas had I think fourteen straight um, conference championship wins or conference titles, and they and they ended it, which they're the conference uh, champions. But I think Texas Tech. I, I don't think I think they should have been a two seed. I don't think they should have been a one seed. And I think they're just better than Michigan State. I mean Michigan. Well, based off what you just said. That basically, you know, shows that Texas Tech barely played anyone when there's a team in their conference winning for 14 years straight. Yeah, the, you know, the strength of the schedule is not up there. Yeah. I don't this year, no, nah, this year the Big 12 actually it was it was better competitive. Than, it was better than you know recently. every other year, but um, like they had Iowa State, Kansas State. They they both emerged. They Kansas State and Iowa State were competing. With the uh, for the uh, conference championship, but yeah, it was still, you know, you knew who was gonna win pretty much. Okay, so tomorrow <clears throat> at around seven o'clock, LSU and Michigan State are gonna play. I honestly got Michigan State, even though they're ranked below them. The, it's gonna be kind of close. No, LSU. I think Michigan LSU's State's ranked number win three. Him. Michigan State's number two. Um, yeah, I got LSU winning that though. LSU barely beat Maryland. They won by two points, and then Michigan State won by twenty. But at the same time. Michigan State played number 10 seed Minnesota versus LSU playing number 6, six, six seed Maryland. But um, I don't know. Michigan State was coming off that hot win. I think that they're going to go in there with a whole lot of confidence. Yeah, I think Michigan State's going to win that game and move on to play Duke. And I just think that because LSU, I don't think they're really good enough. Like, I can't see them beating Michigan State. Like they have a um, – they're center Reed. Number zero, he's a baller. He he's an amazing player, but you know I don't think they're complete enough. Yeah, I mean be- in the first round LSU played Yale and won by five points, and then they played second round and they beat Maryland by two points. Um, versus Michigan, first round winning by nearly ten, and then winning by twenty in the second round. I don't know. I think Michigan State's gonna put up a whole lot more buckets than LSU. But um, since all of us kind of agree that Michigan State will be playing Duke, speaking of Duke. Tomorrow at um, around like 9.30, Duke places Virginia Tech, um, number four seed versus number one. Who you guys think are going to take that one? Honestly, um, I, f- I think I-, I feel like Duke's going to win, but I hope Virginia Tech upset- upsets yeah. just because to, like, spice it up. Because right now it's getting like, it's getting Every one seed still, you know, every one seed still yeah. um, playing. We haven't seen that many upsets. If any, yeah, there hasn't you know. really been any upsets. And like real know, upsets. That's what makes it. That's what makes it. You know, good. I you think know. everybody is just trying to beat Duke. Like this whole March Madness, I think it's. Yeah, I think. Duke. You know, uh, Virginia Tech. They have. Um, they are. They have one. They're probably their best shooter named Ty Outlaw. He he had a marijuana charge uh, yesterday, and I think if he plays, they have a chance. But. If they don't play, if he doesn't play, then I think Duke will, you know, I think they'll easily uh, beat Virginia Tech because they, they wouldn't have – he spreads the floor out for Virginia Tech, and without him, I don't think they'll really have a chance to I – think, I think Duke played probably – I know UCF was ranked number nine, but I think UCF was probably one of the best teams in – Yeah, Togo Fall, Togo Fall, no one – is gonna be able to actually stop talking yeah. fall. With them play with them beating UCF coming back for that, that just makes their team so much better versus, you know, Virginia Tech played Liberty and Liberty was trash. So they weren't. I think Duke Duke has a lot more I wanna say experience, but they, they played better teams and they won. Well, what you said about Liberty was kinda of untrue. They had one of the few upsets against, you know, Mississippi State in the first round. They um they won by four points. Yeah, I know, but it's an upset when they were coming in the game. You know, ranked what seven yeah, spots behind. Yeah, like there. Yeah, there has been no upsets. Really. But then they lost by nine points. I mean, I don't. Know, I, I don't think Liberty deserved to be there. And with Virginia Tech beating them, I think that was almost too easy. 
But anyways, um, tomorrow around 7.30, this is probably one of the most exciting games. UNC versus Auburn. UNC ranked number one, Auburn number five. Um, Auburn killed Kansas nearly by 20 points. Oh, no, not 20 points. More like 10. Um, and UNC absolutely blew out Washington, 81 to 59. Um, UNC, in my, my final um, championship, I have UNC versus Duke. So, I mean, I see UNC beating Auburn. What about you guys? I got U- UNC, too, just because Auburn barely scraped by New Mexico State. And, you know, that's just a bad look all yeah. around. Yeah, I think UNC is going to win that one. But Auburn has been playing very good. Yeah, they've been playing. Like they were at the start of the season, they were ranked seventh in the country. It's not like they they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, like, they've been they very consistent. Good. It's gonna be a high, not high scoring. I think it's gonna be like a game. It wouldn't. I don't think the points would get over seventy. And if they do, no, it won't get over seventy five. I think it's gonna be like you know mid sixties. Yeah. There. But yeah, I think he's gonna win that game. We got Kentucky versus Houston. This is also a very exciting game. This is number three seed versus number two, Houston being number three. Um, who do you guys think you can take this one? I got uh, Kentucky winning that one because Houston plays in a – they don't play in a very good conference at all. Um, yeah, Houston yeah. played, you know, played Georgia first and killed them. Then they played Ohio State, killed them. I don't know. I, I just think that uh, – I think Houston might take this one, honestly. No, I got Kentucky just because they're the – they're a basketball school. You yeah, know. Kentucky's Houston, a that very is true. good team. Houston, they're, they're athletics. They've been, like, impressing lately in, like, all sports. You know, they're on the come up. They really weren't really known, you know, say, like, five years ago. But now they're on the come up. But I don't think – I feel like next year they might have it. But this year, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, this Kentucky's going to win that game. P.J. Washington, which is probably their star player. Yeah, he might not play. Hmm. They said P.J. PJ Washington might not play this week. Oh, I think yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah, so if he doesn't play, that's a huge yeah. loss. Because PJ Washington is a very he's a very good player. Yeah. All right, so Purdue Tennessee seven thirty today. So this uh, one's an exciting one. Purdue, honestly, I got Purdue take, Purdue taking it because you know Purdue was great inside the paint against Villanova. They absolutely killed them in that. They won by like twenty six points or something like that. So. Um, and then Tennessee played Iowa, and um, they won by, like, five points. So, number three, Purdue, versus number two, Tennessee. Um, I see Tennessee taking this one. Yeah, I got Tennessee. I had, you know, I have Tennessee winning the championship, and them versus Duke. But I think they're going to win. You know, they have Grant Williams. They have the best front court in, the, in, the, in college yeah. with um, Schofield and Grant Williams. They are such a force. In the paint, and they got um, and they got oh gosh, I forgot his name. One of their guards is a very good player too. Okay. Which. So you're you're telling good players, <clears throat> but you forgot to tell one of the best players that are that's still left in the uh, tournament. It's my boy Carson Edwards. Yeah. He, he just dropped forty two on Nova. He's a bucket. You can't stop him from shooting. It's impressive, but they did play a six seed, and now they're playing a two seed. I mean, in Tennessee. Tennessee played team. a ten seed. Yeah, and barely, and and won by less than Purdue beat the six seed. It's it's definitely gonna be a close game, but I mean, yeah, Purdue, Purdue could win, but I don't know. I just see, I think Tennessee is just more clutch. I think Carson Edwards is the face of Purdue, and if you lock down Carson Edwards, then. But that's the thing; you can't do that. That's where they get you. Well, we'll see. You think you can lock them up? I'm pretty sure Nova had a game plan. They're a good basketball team. Pretty sure they knew coming in that he was a bucket, and they couldn't stop it. We saw the highlights. All right, so last game, uh, you got Virginia versus Oregon. Virginia's number one versus 12 Oregon. I mean, this I honestly think that this is just an easy dub. It's not. Oregon, they, they, they're they not pushovers. They're not – I mean, I think that uh, Virginia's going to win, but Oregon, they're, yeah. they're going to put up a fight. Oregon shouldn't be a 12 seed, honestly. They Not only did they – they beat Wisconsin, which was a upset, 72-54. to 54. And then they beat UC Irvine, 73-54. to 54. I mean, they just had some pretty good wins versus Oklahoma's winning by, like, 10 every time. So, this will also be a pretty good game. Yeah, Oregon, Virginia is known for losing to bad teams in the tournament. Well, not bad teams, but lower seeds. Obviously, they lost to UMBC, the only one seed to lose to a 16 seed. They lost to Syracuse in the eight when Syracuse was, like, an 11 seed. You know, they, they, they're they known for losing to lower seeds, yeah, they still- which – I, which I'll say I think Oregon can win, beat Virginia, but 
I think this time I don't think they're gonna, you know, I don't think they're gonna pull it off. I think Virginia's gonna go on to the Elite Eight. Yeah, so some of the most important games, just to remember to look at Purdue versus Tennessee, Houston versus Kentucky, and then um, UNC versus Auburn. I think those are the most exciting games. I think Duke's gonna kill Virginia. Um, LSU versus <laughs> Mississippi State or Michigan State. That's gonna also be close. Be a close. It's gonna be a lot of close, close. Yeah, games. this this week's gonna be quite exciting. We'll we'll yeah, see. It's a very good Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. So okay, last thing before we close this off, who do you guys think is gonna play? Um, not in the Final Four, but you know the Final Two. Who do you guys I think is gonna play? Uh, who, what, who's gonna play in the championship? Yeah. I get, on my bracket, I got Tennessee and Duke. I got UNC versus Duke. Yeah, I just got Duke because I think they just got uh, easy, a uh, very easy. <laughs> I got Purdue and Duke. Purdue and Duke? Yes. But y'all are asleep. Um, y'all gotta watch the highlights. Well, okay, well, at least we okay. We all agree that Duke's gonna be there. Um, yeah, Duke just has a too easy path. Yeah, they got a cakewalk. Yeah, I think it's. I think it'll be a great game if it's Duke versus UNC. That's like first time ever, and it's a huge rivalry. That does happen now. It's one of the most like highly watched yeah, games of all time. Didn't Duke uh, lose twice to UNC? Yeah, right, when they, they didn't have Zion, and then they beat them in the uh, tournament. Yeah, so I don't know. It's gonna be. It's not. It's not gonna be an easy game at all. It's gonna be a close game. That's why I think that one's gonna be the most exciting. All right. Well, that'll do it for today. I'm Javari Harvey. I'm Nick Rachia. I'm Jackson Vizzle. Thank you for joining us.